Hello everyone, Armandra Garcia and today we will be analyzing the author's various memories and what she learns from the woman in her family about being a Puerto Rican woman, supporting my answers with quotations from the essay A Partial Remembrance of a Puerto Rican Childhood by Judith Ortiz Colfer. Usually, choosing a specific day of the week, the woman and the family get together in the grandmother's living room. There, they would catch up and tell the famous cuentos, which means stories in Spanish. In the essay, Judith Ortiz Cofer tells us that that's where she learned how to be a Puerto Rican woman, especially three things. Number one is, every cuento has something to teach in life. The specific story told in the essay was about a young woman named Maria who was left at the altar and by a man that worked the road and she went crazy. The author's aunt was engaged to a man in the same situation. The cuento was the family's way of learning and teaching her. Number two is, the mother, in the father's absence, will look after the children more carefully. The author's dad was in the military away all the time, so her mother was even more vigilant of her and her brother. She also mentions how when the grandmother took care of them, the mother's fear in her father's absence was very relieved. Finally, number three is, every woman in the family knows all family secrets. Since all the women in the family were the ones to gather and catch up, they always knew everything happening. We also know that the one to spread news in the family is usually the grandmother, letting everybody know the news. In this essay, you can see how every cuento has a teaching, how careful a mother is, especially when the father is away, and how gathering up results in all the women knowing the same secrets. These traditions root from the love and unity of the Puerto Rican culture.